So how are we doing guys? Welcome, it's Kraken here. So day 20, day before our next horde. Now what I've decided to do today is we were getting a pretty low on a lot of resources. We hadn't done any work to the house at all. We need to do some work over at the horde base. But I thought we'd just get ourselves a little bit more organised over here. So I've cleared out most of this back area now. I've filled in all of the holes that we had in our base so they've all been filled in now only up to cobblestone and the reason for that is what i've done is inside the base down here i've put this wall all the way around up to cobblestone so just free high all the way around and i've put some pillars there going all the way through to the ceiling just as some extra support this one all the way through now behind here we have the toilets and the kitchen. So the zombies are going to see this as two layers to get through to us. So if we were standing in the front area down here they're going to see this as two layers of reinforced concrete here but they're going to see two layers minimal of cobblestone here and then the walls that they've got to come through as well as two layers so they should see, they should see this as the easiest route to get to us and i am going to use a little bit of cement and get three layers up here done to cement but i don't want to use up all the cement just yet how much cement have we got I want to make sure the horde base, which is the more important thing to do, make sure the horde base is fully done. So we've got 1,250 and we've got another 170. So yeah, we're going to be end up with just over 1,400 cement. So that'll be 140 blocks, um, which I want to use over at the horde base first. And then if we've got anything left over, then we can start using some back here because to be honest we don't really get many problems here we are going to get problems with screamers soon but most of the time i'll put the forges on during the day and then we'll go out doing raiding looting we'll be elsewhere anyway so shouldn't be a massive problem now let's get our electrical parts and mechanical parts we need an engine um, and let's have a quick little look at some of the things we can do in here. So we want to look at the shotgun turret to keep all those pesky vultures away on Horde Night. So we're going to need some steel, some scrap polymers. We can definitely do that. A bit of steel scrap polymers. And we needed some shotgun parts. So I've been scrapping down. When we scrap down these double barrel shotguns, they do just give us shotgun parts. So we got 30 of those, which is very useful. So let's get this being made. Oh, we need some oil as well. We've got plenty of oil, so that's not a problem. 50, there we go. We finally make this now. Ah, so we need a motion sensor. Now, I don't believe I have one of those spare. No, I don't believe we have one there. Can we make one? So, forged iron for that. Okay. Right, let's make a motion sensor. MOT. Right, that's crafting that up. I also want to look at making an auger. Now, motor tool parts. Now, we have some of these. So, I believed I had some in here. So, 
So I've got six of these. I think that's the only ones I've got. Let me just double check, see if I've got any in here. Steel tool parts, seven. No, I've only got six motor tool parts. I don't believe I've got any anything I can take apart. Chainsaw, now how many is that going to give me? Right, let's just quickly check, see what the chainsaw, because we can scrap this and quickly stop it. It'll tell us how many it's going to give. So that'll give us four, so that will make ten. Now, I did test the chainsaw against the fire axe, and the amount of wood you actually get back is the same. So I tested that off camera earlier on, so there's no benefit to me using a chainsaw at all because it's just going to cost me a bit more in fuel. Um, and now we've got our sexy saurus up, we're going to be absolutely fine with stamina. So that's going to get us our 10 motor tool parts. So we need the bicycle handlebars. So we need some duct tape, springs, short iron pipe. Duct tape, springs, oh, short iron pipes. We needed some leather. Got loads of leather. Right, can we make that now? Oh, and our motion sensor's made. There we go. So let's take that. Let's make our shotgun turret. Auto shotgun turret, perfect. Cool, that's going to take quite a while. And then after the handlebars are made, we're going to set up the auger to be made as well. So then our mining will become a lot easier. So let's get that started. And what am I missing? Oh, you need 15 parts. I thought you needed 10. Right, okay. When we check the traders, then, we will see if they've got any spare... Oh, no, shotgun doesn't go in there. Uh, we'll see if they have any spare cheap chainsaws or anything like that for sale. And then we can get the auger made. Duct tape. Polymers. Perfect. So from the 1400 cobblestone that we had made up we've actually only got 200 left after doing all that work inside but we did get a lot of experience you can see my experience bar down at the bottom is now nearly full and i think we've got a spare point yeah we've got a spare point as well which we'll be looking at doing something with very very shortly right let's get our shotgun parts put in there get our oil over here so i'm going to quickly do this and then we'll jump back over to the hall base and see what we've got left to do over there so guys i've just made myself another farm plot over here so we've got our gold uh, chrysanthemums growing there we've got some mushrooms growing i am now going to put some corn on to grow and also we've still got our mushrooms over here growing so if that's going to be the case that you don't need a farm plot to grow mushrooms we might just use the ground to carry on growing them but we're going to keep on having a look at them it does look like they've got bigger so if that's going to be the case we'll have a spare farm plot very shortly so i'm just getting all my things together ready to go over to the hall base there we go we've got our shotgun turret I'll quickly grab one of our wire tools. I think I've got one over there, but I'll grab another one because we've got one spare. Plenty of them. And we're going to head back over to the hall base. So here we go, guys. What I've decided to do is make this roof out of the wooden bars, which I'll upgrade to iron bars, which I can just use with, use with forged iron in the near future. So we'll start smelting up loads of forged iron i think it's 10 forged iron to each piece 
So it's going to take quite a bit, but it will make it very strong. Um, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to put a pillar in the middle coming up to put the shotgun turret on. Um, and I'll probably end up with two shotgun turrets in the end, one facing in either direction. And I'm also going to put a solid beam across here, um, ready for building our blade traps um, and our dart traps on as well. So we're going to do a bit of both. So if for whatever reason we get overrun while we're fighting down here, it's still going to take quite a while for the zombies to knock out all of these walls to make this collapse to try and get to us because that's what they'll try and do once they've killed once they've got through to try and kill me once they've knocked through these their next plan of attack will be to knock down every single one of these walls and they won't do it from outside because of the pit so they'll all try and get in here and then try knocking us down so then guys i've just managed to get myself another experience point here another bit of xp so what I'm going to do is I've just had a quick look at all my perks. I didn't realise that um, I could upgrade to level 4 of Sexy Saurus Warrior. And this looks really good. Uh, reduce, obviously, the melee and tool stamina like we've had with all the others. 20% uh, and power attacks are 40%. But killing blows now give me 20 stamina back. So every time we actually use our club and actually kill a zombie, we're going to get an instant boost of stamina back. So I'm definitely going to be putting a point straight into that. Now I've got my turret set up, um, but I'm going to quickly move it because I didn't put it in the centre and that really bugs me. So I've made myself a land claim block here. They're really nice and cheap to make. Uh, only five stone. So we can simply come up here. Where am I? I come up here. And as you can see, I've got it pointing straight at the straight at the sky because that's where. Oh, did I stop it? Pick it up. There we go. So we actually want it on this one next to us. So put that there and put it next to us. Now you can't re-aim it until you've got power going to it so where's my power power point now i did ah oh, it's given me the 150 shells back as well that's right because i did have some shells already in it so all we need to do is right click on that come back up here right click on this there we go and then we need to come and quickly turn this on. I did put an extra battery in here, which we found when we were wrenching out the cars, which was a nice level six one. So we've got loads of batteries now. That should keep us going. And we can just press on E and then double click on the preview. And we're only we don't want this shooting at the zombies down here we're going to do that and get all the xp for it because we only get 20 percent back with this we just want it pointing at the sky so press escape to come out of that is you can see where it's now pointing um we can lock the ammo in here so i'll give it 150 shells um strangers doesn't really matter because we're not playing multiplayer so we've just got it on targeting zombies and that will then go for all of the vultures and sort us out with that. Now, I've made this front bit here, this goal post. So I'm upgrading this to reinforce concrete just to make it nice and strong. I've done all the bars and we're going to upgrade them to steel bars when we make a load... Um, iron bars when we make a load of forged iron i'll work out how many we exactly need it's going to be a couple of hundred right let's put the electrical tool away put the cement away uh, we can scrap the cans 
got plenty of iron so we can make ourselves some more junk turret ammo and let's go and find ourselves a quest to do so guys i've come to the town just underneath our hall base and realized we've got a pawn shop over here now i can't remember if we've gone through the pawn shop already let's get this on try and warm ourselves up a little bit i'm going to keep my helmet on now this looks like the bigger pawn shop as well there's two sizes of the pawn shop there's the older one and then there's a slightly newer one right let's get rid of you our new sexy saurus so when we kill you we should jump back up in stamina there we go straight back up to 130 so we've got a couple of cars here as well so i think we're going to quickly run our way through this pawn shop now, that's not the way in ah uh, this is the slightly newer one so we're not going to go through the whole thing all of the loot is literally behind this door so we're going to quickly reload Mr. T. 119, perfect. Put him in there. Uh, we need to use a repair kit on this. Because the last thing, if we find ourselves in trouble, the last thing we want is not have a backup. So, knock our way through. We've got Mr. T there ready. And there we go, straight away with a feral. Come on over. Poof. Straight off. There we go. Get you reloaded? Or you only actually used nine shots. There used to be dogs in here. No, they got rid of got rid of the dogs now. That keeps me very happy. Bit of cloth. A few spare jukes. Oh. Backpack. Water. So we've got an ammo pile here, which has got a cooling mesh in it. Okay. What have we got here? Iron chest armor, iron gloves. Ooh, there we go. So we can replace our hunting knife. That's going to take a lot... Take a lot less time to wear out. Take a big yucca juice. Got any food in here. Shotgun Messiah. A sham, okay. A hunter mod. Right, what does this one do? 100% damage to living beings. Install into any melee or ranged weapon, but not tools. Now, I'm pretty sure this counts as a weapon. So there we go. Put it into there. And let's use our lockpicks. So we haven't really got anything we need there at all. We've got a bit of 762, but literally not a lot at all. Is this worth anything to sell? A little bit. We'll scrap that one and we'll sell those because we're going to head off to the trader now. And that's all I'm going to do with this POI. Quickly check the garbage though while I'm here. And we've got a treasure map. Ooh. Now a treasure map's always good. Where's that put it on the map? That direction. So down here, so a new area again. Okay, right. Let's head off to the trader. So then guys, it's getting a bit late in the day, so I don't think we're going to have time to go through one of the bigger POIs. So I'm going to have a quick look. And this one here, because I'm not sure if I've ever seen this army camp before. Now, the army camps you've got to be careful with. 
because if I show you by standing on here, these hubcaps, these are all mines. So if you see one of these army camps, you want to keep well clear of it. Now there is a light over here showing that normally indicates that's the way to go. But I think it's just trying to trick you because there's a mine in there. So let's um, go straight through the front door. So like I say, there's mines everywhere. So, yeah, I don't think I've ever been through this one. So we've got a couple of guys. A guy down there. Let's go round the outside and try and clear out the guys round the outside. First of all. Now we can use our power attacks a lot more. Oh, that scared the hell out of me. We can use our um, power attacks a lot more now. Because when we kill the zombie, we get that extra XP straight back. There we go, see? Even after those power attacks, we're straight back up at 130. Not sure what these holes are all about. All right, let's get you sorted. Oof. Nice, one hit. We got an army zombie. And not a runner. Get ourselves some room. We've got to be careful now because a lot of these zombies are running towards us. Nothing in there. Oh, bit of ammo though. Some more 762. Right, that's not the bridge that we started on. That must be round the back. There we go. Hit you in the junk. Is that everybody clear? Right, that looks like we've cleared out the outside, so we're not going to have them waking up on us now. Right, let's cause some havoc in here then. Bit of free gas. That goes well, eh? Right, we're going to come back to that in a second. I don't want people coming in from behind me so let's just make sure we've cleared out up here first now those explosions will be zombies that have heard us and we'll be trying to now get into the army camp so the landmines will take care of them 750 experience for him. Thank you very much. Right, what have we got here? More gas. Oh. Bit of animal fat. Right, popping pills. What have we got in here? Just some... Basic jars. Stay down there. Right. More jars. Toilets. Just him. Right. Stay down. Now I'm not going to wrench all these beds up. If I've got time I'll do that on the way back out. But let's get all the ammo we can from here. Okay, that wasn't so bad. And some boots. Right, let's just scrap a few things. 
Don't need the murky water. There we go. We'll sell that off to the trader if we get back in time. Right. Let's go into this new building then. Search that. Did we? We didn't go up there though, did we? Let's just see if there's any loot up here. So we've got a backpack. Got an ammo pile. So we will be scrapping those. Right. Let's see what we got down here. Let's make sure our um, stamina is nice and high. Shamway Foods. Don't need that. Right. So that's locked. Does that mean there's a different way into here? If that's locked, can we use lockpicks on it? No. So there's where the final loot is. Let's wake him up. Come on. Stop going over there. Oh, there's a gap here. Come on. There we go. Oh, loot bag. Let's just quickly... Perfect. Right. Let's knock our way through here. Three hundred and twenty one dukes. Some golden rot tea. Ah, perfect. Triple storage mod. Iron leg armor. We're gonna sell that. Got ourselves a couple of grenades. Grenades, dynamite. Now, is there another way in and out of here rather than the way I went? Skirt, some acid and a wrench. Okay, we're going to scrap the skirt. I'm going to quickly eat that. Take those. Scrap the wrench. It's only a level one. here ah right so that would have been the way to go so rather than going through the concrete we could have come in round the back okay right so that's good to know there you go so if you ever go ever come down here then you're better off just jumping down there, then we're probably not going to make it back to the trader in time. So this is where I'm going to leave this one, guys. We will try and get back there, but um, I doubt we will in time. I'm going to leave this one here. So tomorrow we're going to do that treasure map. Um, we're going to spend the night time back at the Hall base and see if there's any last little bits that we want to do before tomorrow evening but tomorrow is going to be the 21 day horde so we'll go and dig up that treasure and then we're going to be doing the horde night so 
let's see how the new base holds up to the 21 day horde so as always guys any please give those likes and those comments down below and we'll catch up with you tomorrow for the 21 day horde take it easy see you later